Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. You mean, someone's plotting against me? What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. Lady Marjorie dismissed me. For good. What? What for? It's not important. Just... We can't count on her. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Being near me is dangerous, Tom. Y you should get as far away as possible. Appreciate the thought, milady. But we're in this together. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate. On Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The coal boy? Take him! Mira told us he was gathering an army. We have heard at Thank it's not bigger, but we can't fight that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Ryan. Crossbows up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> well, Lord, you must not have much faith in this army of yours if you feel the need to hide by my little brother. <laughs> you mistake me, Forrester. Ryan is here for your protection, to stop you from being stupid. You see, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason.
I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Are you truly that blind lord? I am the lord of House Forrester! Ha! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> He's the fourth lord Forrester I've seen in his many moons, father. Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine, for all to see, by wedding my queen. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asha, you can't! It's rather generous terms, actually. And if I tell you to go fuck yourself? <laughs> Look at my fucking army! If you want to die, I'm more than happy to oblige! I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother! Uh, we'll never bend the knee to a fucking White Hill! You will. Unless you want to end up like Roderick here. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. Maester, take my brother's body. He will join Father and Ethan in the grove. As you say, my lord. But... Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I can't bow my head to the fucking White Hills after all they've done. I may have loved Gwyn, but no. No, not like this. Even if you went through with it, Lud would have you killed the moment Gwyn produced an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. Aye. We ride for war! We ride! Spill their blood! 
Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But we just don't have the numbers. Unless we take them on our terms, inside our walls. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord of the League. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. We simply need a ruse to separate him from his army. To get him alone and feeling safe. And there's one way to do that. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? An ambush. Your pit fight is hidden until the last moment. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. A woman's weapon. Yes, and a good one. Lethal and direct. Either plan is high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. We're already in danger. I'll be there, Duncan. I'll pour the wine myself. I understand what's at stake. But poison is the surest way to see Lord dead. Then we have a plan. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lord. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. She's left the key! Search the area! Lady Mira. There she is. Take her. What's all this? Look, Morgren, please. You have to help me. Mira Forrester, you're coming with us. Please, do something. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to... Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake, working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. 
Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Identifying Andros as our common enemy while approaching me as a partner. You showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. I knew it. I never should have trusted you. Of course not. You should never trust anyone in King's Landing. That might have been your only mistake. But a costly one. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mera. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. Lud will turn on you the first chance he gets. You're a fool if you don't see that. Tell me, Mira. Who is the fool here? You or I? coming across you here. I seem to have found something you are looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. Lady Marjorie will hear of this. She'll have your head! Lady Marjorie will want nothing to do with you, Mira. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. That's why you're here, isn't it? I suppose. Josra would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try. And fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and, and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming. And we haven't much time. Gregor Venfiond and Bjorn Sagerven. 
Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well, for a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. You fought well yourself. Or at least your bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness. According to her. They don't mourn their dead. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine.
The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. Are you all right? You don't look well. It's nothing. I'm fine. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Vicenir. Did you not hear me? Fogoren, Suna! What? Wait! Fogoren, Vicenir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove, that her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the Wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. 